If you're not already seeing them everywhere, you're about to. They're gonna be on your social feeds, they're on your TV commercials. They're literally on every corner, and I'm talking about mortgage lenders, brokers, and banks advertising mortgages. And today, I'm gonna to teach you how to choose the right mortgage professional for you. Hey there, future homeowners and savvy investors. My name is Darren Hunter, and today I'm gonna to unlock the secrets of choosing the right mortgage professional. If you're gearing up to get pre-approved or you're hunting for that perfect rate quote, you're in the right place. I'm gonna give you the confidence to navigate these crucial decisions. First of all, why should you actually shop for a lender? It's simple, not all lenders are created equal. Your financial situation, whether it's self-employed, challenge credit, previous housing event like a bankruptcy or a forbearance, your home buying goals, whether it's an investment, second, or a primary, and even the type of property you're eyeing, like a condo or manufactured home, or maybe even a barn dominium, can demand a different kind of expertise. The right lender can make or break your home buying experience. Before we continue, please do me a favor. If you like the video, you're learning a little something, please hit the like button, comment below, and subscribe. All right, let's get right back to it. So how do we find a good mortgage professional? First of all, just start with a referral. And don't just stop there though. Dive deep into their service history. Are they known for timely closings? Do they have glowing customer reviews? Are they a certified mortgage advisor? Are they a broker? Are they a bank? It's about finding the lender who aligns perfectly with your unique needs. In most cases, you can look up the reviews on Google, Zillow, or even Yelp. You'll find out real quick what type of mortgage professional you're dealing with. If they came in as a referral, don't be afraid to ask why are they actually being referred to them? Do they have a good experience? You know, dive deep into why they are referring you that particular mortgage professional. Now, what questions should you ask when you're talking to a mortgage pro? It's crucial to inquire about their pre-approval times, their loan processing times, and their handling of underwriting and their experience with specific loan types like FHA, VA, USDA, conventional, bank statement, and the list goes on. Remember, the more questions you ask, the clearer your decision becomes. You are in essence interviewing them. And don't be afraid to ask any question that you can think of. They are handling your most personal information. They're gonna know more about you and your financial picture than probably anybody else that's out there. This is not to scare you, this is to encourage you to take the steps seriously. I've been doing this a long time, over 20 years, and what may be surprising to many, or most of, of you, frankly, that most borrowers come to me and they don't even really understand how much they actually make, let alone how much they currently owe. You want who you hire to be an advisor and not just a transaction coordinator. Of course, it's important to manage a transaction, but you need someone with knowledge of the overall financial picture and will meet your goals. And by the way, when I say hire, that does not mean that you should be paying for anybody to look at your pre-approval and get you a rate quote. You shouldn't be paying a penny for this entire process. It's a two-way street. A prospective lender should be equally curious about you, certainly. They should ask you about your credit history, your employment stability, your long-term financial goals. This isn't just about getting a loan, it's about forging a partnership together. Talking budget is something that gets missed. Most will only tell you what you're approved for and not what you've actually budgeted for your monthly payment to be. All right, where does the rate fit into choosing a lender? Certainly, it's one of the biggest pieces of the puzzle. I'm not gonna deny that, but it's not the only one. A low rate may look attractive, but it's the overall cost of the loan that truly matters. That's why you need to look just beyond the interest rate. Buying can be stressful, especially when you're buying a primary or you're selling one before you're buying the next. You need to have a smooth process. Rate is certainly important, but a stress-free, timely transaction is vital. Make sure you're getting the best of both worlds when you speak with your lender. You want everything to be in your power so you can close on time and no money is lost during the transaction. Besides rate, what should you be focusing on? Fees. Yes, there's definitely gonna be some hidden or overlooked charges that can sneak up on you. Ask about origination fees, closing costs, and any other charges that might be lurking in the fine print, credit report, 
appraisal, inspections. Some, some loans require certain inspections that others do not. You need to ask about all of these for each type of transaction that you're discussing with your mortgage professional. Should a lender give you a loan estimate if you haven't actually applied for a mortgage? Ideally, of course. It's your right as a borrower to understand exactly what you're getting into. And if they can't provide a loan estimate, a fee sheet is a fantastic alternative. It gives you a clear picture of what to expect. In fact, it's my personal preference. I think it actually does a better job explaining what all the costs and charges are during a transaction. However, if you filled out an application and, you've, and you want a loan estimate, you deserve one. One tip that never gets driven home like it should and it's absolutely crucial when you're shopping for rates is comparing mortgage rates on the same day with other lenders. Mortgage rates fluctuate constantly every day, all day long. They trade just like stocks trade all day long. Comparing rates on the same day ensures you're making an apples to apples comparison, giving you a true sense of the market. With specific loan types, experience is key. If you're considering a VA loan, for instance, you want a lender who's navigated the terrain before. Ask for their track record with the type of loan you're interested in. Don't be shy. This is about securing your future. Most experienced loan officers will have knowledge of all products, but that doesn't mean that they're an expert in every product. I have a vast knowledge of all mortgages. I lack in the EIN and DACA loans. For this reason, I hired a loan officer that specializes in this and makes up for my experience in those particular products. Make certain they know what their strong points are and what their shortcomings are. Why does your realtor care about your lender choice? A great team equals a smooth transaction. Your realtor wants a lender who's communicative, efficient, and reliable. It's not about kickbacks. It's about ensuring you get the best service possible. Lastly, I want to address a common myth, and, this, and I hear about this actually quite a bit. Does your realtor get a kickback if you use their lender? The correct answer is without a doubt, 100% no. Is it happening? I don't know, maybe. I certainly don't have any evidence of anyone getting a kickback. What I believe is that 99% of the realtors and loan officers have your best interest at heart. The realtor is needing to align with professionals who they trust to deliver the best results for you. It's about trust and transparency. So there you have it, folks. Armed with the knowledge, you are now ready to choose your mortgage professional. That's right for you. My team and I would love to help you, but if you don't find us to be a good fit, please don't hesitate to reach out, comment below, and I'd love to help you find somebody that will be a great fit for you and meet your financial goals and get you into the house that you need. My name is Darren Hunter. That was another guaranteed message. I wish you all the best. Have a great day. Remember, this journey is about finding the perfect match for your dream home and your financial well-being. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, share, and subscribe for more insights into the world of real estate.